former president's made a smart move in getting out of the USA. I want to show you the reason why. Following hard on the heels of Hurricane Isidore and following pretty much the same sort of track, we've got another hurricane here. This is Lily moving through the Western Caribbean, causing all sorts of problems again for Jamaica, western side of Cuba, and it's on its way to the USA on pretty much the same sort of flow, as I say, as we saw uh, just a few days ago. This beast could get into the southern states with winds at around about 150 miles an hour. Of course, we'll keep you posted on that. You don't have to go that far for extreme weather. October has started on a very wet note indeed. Some five inches of rain in 24 hours across Gibraltar. There are some of the stats to go with that. The wettest October day since 1947. And you see the amount of cloud there across Iberia, stretching up to the British Isles. More on that in just a second. At least it's showing signs of moving, getting into the central Mediterranean by around about Thursday. Now I'm going to fly you up that uh, route of cloud right up into central parts of the British Isles. If it rained with you this morning in central southern England, East Anglia and the southeast, that's the reason for it. That's now moving away, making room for another massive cloud behind me. That's the first Atlantic front that many of us will have seen for quite some time. And there you see the rain making progress across Northern Ireland. And it will eventually get into the western side of Scotland, much of western Wales and the southwest of England later on this afternoon. Sunshine at a real premium. But because of the southerly flow, we're actually doing quite nicely on the temperature front. We could see 2021 quite widely this afternoon. And then overnight, we'll start pushing that cloud and rain ever further towards the east. A rather damp squib as it gets down into the southeast here, I have to say. Uh, that'll be around about tomorrow morning. So a rather gloomy start there again. Somewhat brighter conditions falling on behind and a whole host of showers for the north and west of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Rather easing a touch as we move on into the afternoon. But a lot of dry and fine weather elsewhere. And again, the temperatures run about 19 or 20 degrees. Come Friday, we're pushing another set of fronts up and across the northwestern quarter of the British Isles pressure dominating further south so a lot of dry and fine weather there again after a rather misty and murky start but that should soon clear and then there'll be some sunshine for most and then thoughts on the weekend it looks as though it's going to be relatively dry but cloudy across many parts of the British Isles a little bit of rain in the far north of Scotland maybe a spot of rain too down in the far south and east and generally feeling a wee bit cooler all this and much more